today we'll be learning the lobster spaghetti dish in Hell's Kitchen. With the dry pasta, especially spaghetti, it's about 12 minutes to cook. You wanna make sure that you always salt your water and we'll get our pasta in before we start cooking the lobster. As that starts to cook down, we'll get started with the marinara base. So on medium-high heat, you wanna start with a little bit of olive oil, some shallot and garlic. So I can already start to smell the garlic coming up and I can see the shallot starting to get a little translucent. At this point, we wanna have a little bit of back heat on this dish. So we're gonna hit with a couple red chili flakes. You can see the pasta starting to cook a little bit. What's important is once you can bend it and get it all under the water that you do. You need that pasta to cook it evenly. Now that I have a nice toast on my garlic and shallot, I'm gonna add some of this lobster meat. What's good here is that you can save the tail for something a little fancier and use the knuckle and claw meat to make this dish. I'm gonna get a little bit of this lobster stock into the pan. This is another great way to use the whole lobster. Once you cook it and you remove your knuckle and claw meat, you can save the shells and use that to make a stock, tying all those flavors together. Once that lobster stock starts to reduce, I'm gonna add my marinara. So for me, that's just a touch too thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of that lobster broth. I like to turn the heat down now on the lobster to start to get all those flavors, that base that we started with, the garlic, the shallot, and the red chili flakes. Start to incorporate that into your base marinara sauce. Right now, I just had a hit of that. I'm just now feeling the heat from that red chili flake because I started with it in the beginning. So it's nice and layered. So when I said we wanted some back heat on this, that's what I meant. So I'm not gonna add any more lobster broth at this point. When my pasta is ready, I'm gonna let some of that nice starch water hit the pan, loosen it up, and then naturally it'll bind back together. So I can feel that I've got a nice al dente, and it's good to always just pull one out and try it. So again, we're just gonna use a little bit of that pasta water to thin it out. So it's not gonna end up being watery. You're gonna have pasta that's nicely coated, which is what you want in a spoon pasta. That's anything that you'll use a fork and spoon to twirl. But you don't want it swimming in the sauce. You just want it to coat it nicely. So when I come out like this, it comes off nice and tight. And what that's gonna allow me to do is really have control of the amount of sauce that I put over the top. And again, that pasta's already coated, so I don't need a ton. And now I get to display those nice big pieces of lobster meat. So this is a perfect portion for your guest. You finish it with a nice fresh basil leaf. And this is our lobster spaghetti appetizer. Delicious.